Hi North, welcome back. This is week number five, lesson number two. And do you remember what our theme is this week? Of course you do, it's Australia. And do you remember the song that I taught you last lesson? It was about an Australian bird. Do you remember the name of that bird? It's called the kookaburra, kookaburra bird. Um, so let's go over the song and see if you remember how it goes. Here we go. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh, kookaburra. Fun your life must be. Now, do you remember why we sing about the kookaburra laughing? It's because the kookaburra call sounds like a laugh. And if you went to my Bitmoji classroom and clicked on the little bird on there, it takes you to a video that shows you uh, what a kookaburra bird looks like and sounds like. So if you haven't done that already, you should do it. It's pretty good. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the song and we're going to sing it as a round. A round is when you have two or more people singing a song, but one person starts it and then the other person waits to start it until after they have, okay? Kind of like a wave, like there's the first wave, here's the second wave. So different parts of the song are being sung at the same time. So if you're still kind of like, hmm, I don't know if I quite get that, Mrs. Hammond, no problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play an example of the round with the kookaburra song, and we, me and you, are gonna sing together, okay, on the round. And if you keep your ears open, you'll hear that there are other parts coming in singing the exact same song, all right? So the first two times through, we're all just gonna sing it together, okay? And then we will sing it two more times through, but that's when the round will start, all right? Let's give it a try. We are going to come in second, all right? So we'll let the first person come in, and then we'll get a chance to come in second and see how that feels. Here we go. Cucumber sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh, kookaburra, fun your life must be. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh, kookaburra, fun your life must be. Merry, merry, 
you able to keep up with me? I bet you were. All right. So here's my challenge for you this week. I would love it if you taught somebody else this kookaburra song and see if you can learn it well enough that you can sing it as a round together. And if you wanted, you could do it with this video so that it, our, I can help you out a little bit. Or if you're really good, you can do it without the video just on your own. Good luck with that. All right. Okay, guys. So now we're back to doing the freeze dance. We are going to do uh, ACDC's It's a Long Way to the Top. If you've seen School of Rock, then you've heard this song sung by Jack Black before. Why are we doing this song? What does that have to do with Australia? Because ACDC is from Australia. It is one of the best known bands from Australia. So that is why we were doing this song as our freeze dance this week. So if you like to rock, you are in the right place. Let's do it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, here we go. There we go. Much better. You got the air guitar. <laughs> now remember, you can do my moves, right? Or you can do your own moves, right? It doesn't matter. You can do it either way. I hope you enjoyed our freeze dance today and I hope you enjoyed uh, doing our kookaburra song and if you haven't already go to that uh, oh there's one other thing I wanted to tell you we are also going to be looking at an instrument this week an instrument from Australia called the didgeridoo now so you go back to my bitmoji classroom page look for this long looking stick instrument that's the didgeridoo. It's from Australia. And how do you play it? You, well, you're gonna find out when you click on it. It'll take you to a video, but you blow into it. And it's actually, it's this long wooden thing, but it's a brass instrument. Why is it a brass instrument? If you've had me in class before, you know why it's a brass instrument because in, bra in the brass family, you, your lips create the vibration in the brass instrument. So when you're blowing into the didgeridoo, your lips will create like a buzzing into it. I can't do it, but you'll get to see it on the video, how to do it, that it creates the vibration. So that's your assignment this week. You must go back to the Mitmoji classroom page, check out, click on that didgeridoo so you can see how that's played. And then also, if you haven't already, click on that kookaburra bird so that you can hear what that little laugh sounds like. Um, also, there's a map on my Bitmoji classroom page that if you click on it, it takes you to a video, a very short video about uh, all, some things about Australia, okay? Because what was our theme this week? Australia. I hope you had fun coming to uh, Australia with me this week. I had fun. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.